Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. It's good to see you and I hope everybody's okay today. I just want to share with you today. Uh, I've said this before, but I, I, I've, I've had a, an immense amount of discussion and talking with atheists and many atheists on YouTube. Listen to many atheists on YouTube. Uh, listen to many, many of the videos and read stacks of their stuff. And one thing you need to realize as a young person with atheist is the tremendous deception that atheists do on YouTube and on their websites. There is an industry of deception going on on YouTube and by the atheist community on YouTube and their websites and even by their leaders and scholars. Massive deception, okay? I mean real big deception going on. Um, all the time. Their videos are nothing but straw manning Christianity, straw manning like setting up arguments, okay, against Christianity. But they're not arguments that Christians use, but they use, they give these arguments as if they're Christian arguments, and then they knock them down, and then they say, ha, ah, look how stupid Christianity is. But they're not arguments that Christians use, it's what they're, they're using. They take uh, video clips of scholars who they can use and then they manipulate those clips so that it makes atheism look good they'll take video clips of Christians on YouTube and they'll manipulate the videos to make them look good and this is going on all the time and so people are taking this deception in and they're thinking oh atheism is credible but all the time there's a lot of deception going on they're manipulating the videos editing videos to try and make Christians look bad the uh, setting up and straw man arguments against Christianity and uh, I can prove this beyond all reasonable doubt, all reasonable doubt, uh, because if, you, if you've got a, a belief that is worth defending, you're willing to argument and have an academic debate, you, you would agree with that, wouldn't you? If you've got a position that is true, you're willing to have academic debates. Now it's interesting to note that the atheists on YouTube never get involved with academic debates. I tell you, I I've been on YouTube now for nearly two years and I have asked the atheists for two years for academic debates. You, you, you'll get these hardcore atheists who are interested in pawning you, interested in, in trying to ambush you, destroy you. And they'll say, oh, we'll have a debate with you. But they're not interested in academic debates. They're interested in amb ambushing you, trying to make you look bad. They're not interested in scholarly, uh, polite, academic discourse. Okay? And I have asked the atheist for two years now, and n no prominent atheist or any atheist who is reasonable has come along and said, Jay, we'll organise an academic debate. One or two hardcore atheists who were out for their own agenda to try and destroy me or to try and uh, do some propaganda. But I'm on about people who are normal, ordinary people who are atheists who just want an academic debate. On YouTube, the YouTube community have failed consistently, atheist community have failed consistently to take the challenge that I've given them from the top to the middle to the middle uh, on uh, the YouTube in, in terms of fame and, and notoriety. So there is a massive deception going on. It's a, it's a massive cottage industry. Uh, there are people making money out of this. There are atheists who sell their own t-shirts. Uh, who've made become famous off the back of this uh, industry of deception, uh, like uh, atheist, uh, the amazing atheist, or Thunderfoot, or Aaron Ra. They're all making money out of it. They're all selling T-shirts. They're all uh, selling their words, um, and uh, you know, deception pays well. So all I can say is, the young people, um, whenever you see these videos on YouTube. Uh, by atheist. Just ask yourself, where can I go and check out both sides of the argument? That's where I need to go. So when you've li listened to these atheists on YouTube, okay, they might be entertaining, they might seem very clever, but at the end of the day, you should know that you need to make sure that you read the best uh, of the atheist and the best of the Christian scholars and then come to your conclusion. And be wary of the deception of atheists because once you get into their world, once you get into their mentality, it's very hard to get out. So make sure that you realize there is a deception going on. 
and arm yourself with proper uh, informed information on both sides of the argument before you make any decisions. Thank you for listening and God bless you.